Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we are here now. I will say, this is probably one of the hottest days in Florida that we've had for quite a long time. And of course, we chose the hottest park to come to today of all the parks. We are here today at Animal Kingdom. Uh, so I have a feeling it's going to be very hot and very moist. There'll be a lot of moistness, a lot of moist in this episode today. So hang on tight. We may have to change our clothes a few times during this episode, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, this is actually the first time we've been to Animal Kingdom since they reopened Expedition Everest um, after the refurb. So I know there's some some changes, some minor changes, improvements. So we want to check them out. Um, I don't know what it will be, but we'll we'll look and we'll explore it together. Um, so I think it'll be fun. So stay tuned. Should be should be a lot of fun, but also very hot. Waiting in line at yeah. Why did I say yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting in line yeah. at Expedition Everest. Uh, we're actually waiting for the front row. So we made it all the way through the line in like less than five minutes, and now we're waiting for the front row because we want to get a good shot for the camera. And I just love the front row, so might as well. I mean, if you only have to wait five minutes for the white ride, you might as well wait a couple more for the front. Some people like the back too, but I haven't seen any real differences in the line so far. Have you? I mean, I, I mean, there might be like some minor stuff, but I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> So we'll see if there's anything different on the ride or not. Uh, but literally, it said a 10 minute wait, it's been like zero. Like almost, almost walk on. Take off your ears. Take off your ears. Front row. Woohoo!
None whatsoever. Um, there was there were less hair ties on the mountain. Less. Still a bunch. Like they've already started throwing more out, so it just was less. I, it looked to me like the bird was working more. I feel like um, I had heard that the bird still wasn't working at the top. It was working. I mean, it was moving. It went like up and down and it disappeared, so I don't know. Hmm. Trying to scan for things that might be different even in the store, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot. But there's so many things in this store, it's going to be hard for me to point them out. I'm barely in it. <laughs> well, I was going to say, uh, what did you see different about Expedition Everest? Nothing. Nothing. Less hair ties. <laughs> Uh, I also didn't see anything, um, which I mean, I guess it's just a light refurb. I mean, it was down for a couple of months though, so they're probably just doing touch-up paints and cleaning stuff up and I don't know, a little minor stuff. I don't know, but um, it was still lots of fun. Yeah. Still love that ride. Yeah, me too. You know, always gives me open. always gives me the tickles on the like backwards oh, part. Oh yeah, same. I had to scream. Yeah, it always gives <laughs> me like the stomach tickles um, when it does that backwards part. So. Yeah. I like that ride. I'm glad we got to ride it. And again, no wait. Uh, we're headed over to Dinosaur now because there's literally no wait for that ride either. So uh, it is interesting to me, though, the, um, when we were walking through back there, when Expedition Everest was closed, there was literally nobody over there. Like the whole land over there felt like a ghost town, which just goes to show you there's nothing over there except Expedition Everest. I feel like they need to add more stuff over there. They really do. Because there's, there's literally no reason to even go into that side of the park if that's not up so whereas other places if a ride is closed it, it's still there's still other stuff to do in those areas but not here <laughs> so there was a ton of people there so i knew immediately that expedition everest was running because there was a bunch of people look they have the 25th anniversary birthday cake castle mug and it's a very large mug which is once again special to us because that's the year we i came for the first time and we came on our honeymoon Look at this Animal Kingdom picture frame. It is so cute. It's $24.99. I feel like I've never seen it before. It might have been here for a while, but this is the first time I've seen it. There's actually a surprising um, number of people here doing all the little uh, carnival games. Well, there's nobody over there because that's closed, but like there is a decent amount of people hanging out here. Um, usually, I feel like even when it's busy, this area is kind of... Not really that busy, but decent chunk of people here right now. I feel like there's more people playing these carnival games and waiting for Triceratops spin than there was waiting for Expedition Everest. Mm, I'm guessing maybe because there's little, so many little kids here right now and there's not a lot of little kid rides here. I don't know. It's kind of weird, actually. Okay, friends. I've had something on my mind that I want to talk about for quite a while now, and... It's kind of a serious conversation. It's probably one of the most serious conversations that I've had on this channel. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about it now that we're here at Animal Kingdom. Over the past few months, I've started to notice that our favorite candy that they sell at the parks is no longer around. And I'm going to be honest and say that it's really starting to become colossally disappointing. Okay, so maybe it's not that serious, but it's very serious to me. They used to have the most amazing candy, and I gotta tell you that I'm very disappointed in their selections now. They used to have Goofy's Candy Company sour gummy worms and sour assorted sour balls. Now they only have the balls, and they have sour cherry balls, and then they have like gummy bears but they don't have the sour gummy worms anymore. And apparently, we're, we've, we, I think we've found out at this point that they're not coming back. They're gone. And I think, are they getting rid of these too? I heard that, but I don't think that was true because this is a new package. No. This is the old package for them, and this is a new. I don't think they would have made a new package. No. So the one who's the most disappointed in this change is right here. I used to get them all the time. I love them. They were the best I've ever had. Literally. I mean, she would literally say, these are the best 
of any kind. Like, you know, all the brand names that are in the stores, all the different varieties that you can buy in different places. These were the best. So I don't really understand why apparently, they got rid of them. Apparently I'm the only one who thought so. Apparently you must be the only one who thought so. I mean, they've done this new packaging here. But these are sugar-free. And this one's not. So I don't really know what the orange packaging is about. But... So I don't know if more of these are going to go away. But... Yeah, it's just been it's just been on my heart lately. I wanted to have this conversation. It still says it's only a ten minute wait. Uh, we will see if it actually is or not. Because I'm pretty sure that the most biggest cavalcade of customs I've ever seen just walked in right now. So I don't know if something let out or what. But whatever. At least we don't have to go all the way back there. That's how you know the line is long when you have to go back there. I, I have a question. Did there used to be a show in here? Didn't there used to be like a meteor shower or something? Or? I don't know if it was a meteor shower, but there was definitely a show. I feel like there was something. Yeah, like I really feel like there used to be like a show, like a like a meteors and stuff. So I did ask the cast member, and he said there was in fact a meteor shower that was actually in that room. They just don't do it anymore. So I was right. I thought I was. Successfully. Yeah, the back was the back. The back. Every time we do the back, it throws you all over the place. Why did I say the back, the back, the back before I actually set the back? I, didn't I don't know, know what's you. happening. I don't know what's going on. But the only thing, I, the only thing about though is like half the dinosaurs were busted. Did you notice? Yes. They weren't even working. Like instead of Expedition Everest, I think maybe they need a little refurb on the dinosaur. I still like it. Um. But not if it means getting rid of the dinosaur, because that is the best. I love this ride. But I don't know why all the dinosaurs were busted. Look how cute this cotton top tamarind is. It's another one down there. Look how cute. Oh, man, he just ripped off that bark. See that? Cute. I see his face. I want one of those. <laughs> They're very cute. I'm barely in this. <laughs> well, I have to say, Starbucks is rapidly becoming our go-to location for dehydration. Re for rehydration. Dehydration, rehydration. Okay, there we go. I switched hands and now I can't see anything. But this um, unsweet passion tea. Man, it's good. Man, it's good. It's so lemony and refreshing, and there's no sweet sweetness in it at all. So good. So give it a shot. Now, I feel like we're just stopping at all the Starbucks now <laughs> in all of the different parks. I still love Joffrey's coffee, but this is just so refreshing when I'm like super thirsty and it's like hot out right now. This is the drink. Oh, and I did want to, I did want to point out the difference in drink sizes she gets the Trenta and I get the Grande but now we need to find a bathroom because a bird just pooped in her hair so we're gonna head to a bathroom so she can get the bird poop out of her hair and we are back on track now that we've cleaned all of the bird duty out of her hair first time that has happened to me. It really isn't. 
Um, they really must like your hair. I don't know. They look down and they say, ooh, there's some hair. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So let's head into the safari. So it's only 15 minute wait, so we'll see. We've been lucky with the wait times today. Yeah. Honestly, when we first got here, the safari said it was like a 60 minute wait or something. So it says 15 now, we'll see if it's actually 15. Wow, what does it take to get some service around here? Hello? The safari staff really ain't doing their jobs very well, are they? Hello, we'd like to ride the safari, where you at? I don't think they're home. 3,000 pounds. She's out walking around tonight. And since you are one of the last safaris of the night, I will tell you a little secret. That little baby's name is Greta. And she weighed 85 pounds when she was born. Good job, Greta. You're doing great, sweetie. Now, hippos do spend most of their day in the water. These are Maasai giraffes, one of nine subspecies of giraffe. A group of giraffes is called a tower. So over there, that is a tower of giraffes. Giraffes can get up to 20 feet tall. African elephant's ears are shaped sort of like Africa itself. So that's how I can tell that these are African elephants. Now these are all females here. That little, little one right there, that is the youngest elephant that we have out here on the reserve. You'll see them flicking their tails over there. Now, cheetah do have these black marks under their eyes. That's to help them better see for their hunts during the day. It absorbs the sunlight. Now, lions do spend most of their days sleeping. In fact, they sleep anywhere from 16 to 20 hours a day. A couple of cool things that uh, I learned on the safari was, well, the one was that Giraffes only sleep for 30 minutes a day. That sounds like me. Um, and then the other thing was the wildebeest. So you get to see wildebeest. Uh, I don't think I got any of them on film, but there's wildebeest there. And she said wildebeest can travel in packs of 1.5 million wildebeests. She said the migration of wildebeests is so large that you can see it from space. Like, what? That's a lot of wildebeests. I didn't even know there was that many wildebeests in the world. So that's pretty cool. And we got to see Greta, the baby hippo. She was cute and she was out of the water. She, she was, was walking so around. The hippo was walking around. You don't get to see that very often. And then it was the baby to boot. So that was cute. So another great night here at Animal Kingdom. We got to do Expedition Everest, so I'm glad didn't see any noticeable differences in Expedition Everest. Nope. Uh, but we had a lot of fun. We didn't wait in line for anything, and we rode pretty much almost everything here. Uh, so it was a lot of fun, and we hoofed it all the way over to Pandora right before the park closed, A, to see Pandora at night, because it's always cute, and I had to get me another blueberry almond popcorn with blueberries, all so good. And she got... Look how cute. It's new. She got a little avatar. What is it? Is it a crop, crop top. top? And it's glow in the dark. It glows in the dark. How yeah. cute is that? So how much was it? $36.99, but I got yeah. the discount. So for both together, I think I only paid the popcorn in this. I think it was like 35 or 36 together. Yeah. yeah. So that's all we have. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We'll see you again tomorrow for another great episode. Until then, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.